street roads in Warminster Township, Pennsylvania, might be surprised to learn that he is within a stone's throw of one of the Navy's most extensive research and development facilities. We're here in the heart of Bucks County, approximately 20 miles north of the city of Philadelphia, a laboratory that has been performing vital work in the direct support of naval aviation for the past three decades. The name of this important complex is the Naval Air Development Center, also known as NADC. Operated under the direction of the Chief of Naval Materiel, NADC encompasses 750 acres of land and of approximately $60 million. Employing approximately 2,500 civilian and military personnel, the center is one of the largest employers in the area. Its present mission is to perform scientific and engineering tasks related to its role as the principal Navy research and development center for naval aircraft systems. This work is being accomplished by a combined force of military personnel and professionally trained civilian scientists and engineers. Such personnel provides a unique mix that allows the center to approach a project with a combined formal scientific training, plus the expertise derived from a naval officer's practical knowledge of fleet operational problems. Unique is also the word that must be applied to the facilities available to perform the many supporting tasks. For example, the Naval Air Facility affords a base for flight operations in support of the center's technical programs. Other important facilities include the Inertial Navigation Laboratory used for development and evaluation of inertial navigation systems, precision gyroscopes, and accelerometers for aircraft applications. An acoustic sensor test facility used to simulate air launch conditions for deployment of sonobuoys and for developing underwater acoustic systems. An antenna range facility to assess the relative effectiveness of radar and electronic countermeasure systems. And a computer simulation laboratory unparalleled in the Navy laboratory community devoted to systems analysis and simulation. In addition, there are extensive engineering and shop resources to build and develop working models of equipments and modest sized systems, validate new materials, and explore applications of recent significant R&D findings. As diverse as the Naval Air Development Center may appear, it is organized so that individual resource capabilities can be brought to bear as one entity in support of priority program. At any given time, for example, several related programs are being pursued in the areas of surveillance, target acquisition, night observation, and information processing. In response to a particular need of the fleet, however, a quick response team of experts from these programs is applied as a unit to exploit current technology and incorporate developed devices into integrated systems and subsystems. A project receiving top priority in the Navy today is tied to the CB concept, which is a program involved with retrofitting the Navy's carrier force so that its ships can deploy ASW aircraft as well as tactical, reconnaissance, and airborne early warning aircraft from the same flight deck. According to a recent study by the Office of the Chief of Naval Operations, such ships are needed to maintain supremacy of the seas in the present operational and basically the problem is concerned with tailoring the composition of an embarked air wing to include fixed winged aircraft and helicopters. It involves designing and integrating the necessary command and control equipment to provide for efficient employment of these aircraft and requires development of multi-mission abilities without significant degradation of sea control or force projection missions. The Naval Air Development Center is playing a highly significant role in this program, particularly in the area of command and control, the development of new and improved information processing and surface and subsurface detection and surveillance techniques. In the center's computer simulation facility, for example, the full mission capability of the proposed CB concept is being analyzed to provide project planners with greater options and alternatives. Also in this facility, operational experience and the relative effectiveness of avionic and weapon systems configurations are being explored and assessed. In another area, Complete command and control systems are being configured and fabricated to fit a pre-designed space in the carrier earmarked for the CV mission. 
When the candidate carrier comes into the shipyard for rework, NADC personnel are available to supervise the installation of the complete system. This multi-mission role is also being explored for application with other types of ships in an important project known as Sea Control Ship. This ship will be small and austere, approximately the size of the USS Guam shown here. Along with destroyers and other escorting vessels, the Sea Control Ship will protect underway replenishment groups, merchant convoys, amphibious assault forces, or task groups with no aircraft carrier in company. Its principal sensors will be helicopters and beast all aircraft. The Naval Air Development Center is heavily committed to the development of air systems for the sea control ship. In the area of helicopter sensors, for example, NADC project personnel are scanning the entire spectrum of electronic surveillance techniques, such as radar, sonar, infrared, low light level television, and active and passive devices for electronic warfare in search of applications for planned air systems. Another major effort with respect to the sea control ship is involved with perfecting the presentation of sensor information for command decision making and designing data link communication systems and associated avionic systems. LAMPS is an acronym for Light Airborne Multipurpose System. The LAMPS program in many ways is directly related to the work being performed for the CB concept and sea control ship, although it is perhaps a bit more novel. Basically, the program is aimed at increasing the versatility and capabilities of destroyer-type ships by augmenting their weapon systems with a manned helicopter. The concept is to extend the eyes and ears of this ship, and thus extend its search and attack potential, particularly for anti-submarine warfare and anti-ship missile defense. The Naval Air Development Center has a special test bed in which off-the-shelf sensors normally used in fixed-winged aircraft have been mounted. At the same time, the center has installed similar equipment aboard fleet ships and helicopters for at-sea evaluation of a quick-fix system. New command and control equipment for use with the LAMP system is also being developed, and there is a continuing program incorporate the latest advances in sensor and attack equipment into the system. The Navy is using these methods of development, a laboratory as well as an at sea approach, as part of a priority program to identify equipment, tactics, support requirements, and training parameters that will work best for the LAMP system. The Navy's newest and hottest fighter, the F-14 Tomcat, will soon make its debut in the fleet. It's a tandem seat, variable swept wing twin engine aircraft designed to provide the Navy's carrier force with undisputed air superiority. As is the case with the CB concept, the sea control ship and LAMPS, the Naval Air Development Center, is deeply involved in the successful development of the F-14. At the center's antenna range complex, for example, antennas on the aircraft were examined by using this 1 8 scale model. At this facility, Equipment is available to affect automatic measurement of gain and radiation of antennas and antenna ray domes from very high frequencies through frequencies in the microwave range. The data are presented in polar or rectangular coordinates or if a digital readout is desired on a contour plot capable of full or partial spherical coverage. Also, with the aid of the center's dynamic flight simulator, Techniques were developed for training F-14 pilots in spin avoidance and recovery techniques. This simulator is one of the largest man-rated centrifuges in the country. It's capable of simulating acceleration characteristics up to 40 Gs in less than 6.5 seconds and altitudes from zero to 100,000 feet. A considerable portion of the center's efforts at the present time is related to the development of systems and techniques for use in anti-submarine warfare. As we project the submarine threat from the present through the 1980s, it is apparent that targets will become faster, quieter, and capable of operating at enormous depths. A major program at the Naval Air Development Center is involved with updating the present capability of the P-3C Orion aircraft so that it will be effective against any predicted threat. 
present work on the program is aimed at development of highly sophisticated systems, equipments, and software that will allow the aircraft to function effectively in the predicted environment and to improve its performance as a reliable ASW weapons delivery platform. A major effort now underway at the Naval Air Development Center in support of the P3C update project is the creation of new facilities to support computer software development. First, there is a software development facility that includes all the essential P3C update aircraft avionics and ancillary equipment, both hardware and software, that provides real-world mission inputs to the avionic system. This allows project personnel to design, develop, and verify computer software against real operating conditions, but still in controlled laboratory environments. In addition, a new compiling facility has been constructed to utilize the Navy's new CMS2 program language. Tools are also being developed to operate in this new compiling facility. These tools will allow analytical study of critical computer software features as well as aid in initial debugging of the computer software. To aid in managing the P3C update project, a scheduled control center has been established to develop and display schedules of critical milestones for all the project tasks. This center is available to help all personnel to understand critical project needs and to organize their individual efforts accordingly. Weapon systems now on the Navy's drawing boards include completely new concepts based upon advanced developmental techniques and intensive specialization. Such developments are expensive and time-consuming, and their success remains theoretical in many aspects until the systems are actually tested. One procedure for offsetting the cost of new development, providing predicted results during the developmental process, is to use simulation techniques. This tool is an invaluable aid at many points in time during the long temporal period that takes place before and during the design process. Simulation is based upon the skilled application of mathematical expressions that represent a complete reproduction of the operator system environment. A sophisticated form of simulation is now being used at the Naval Air Development Center, aimed at maximizing mission reliability and weapon systems performance in connection with the F-14 aircraft. With this simulator, named after the Kiwi bird, which cannot fly, free play real-time engagements are being flown. A huge savings in terms of availability and operational cost is realized by using this method of training and investigation, as opposed to the cost of flying the actual aircraft. The loss of one prototype aircraft would well offset the cost of building Kiwi. The mission and function of the Naval Air Development Center for now and in the future is shaped by expanding technical programs and the perspective gained from its support of naval aviation, the Department of Defense, and other organizations such as the Federal Aeronautical Administration. One primary objective of this center is to provide non-defense activities with available technology and resources in pursuit of solutions to domestic problems. The example shown in this film represent but a part of the total NADC capability. Through research, development, and technical analysis, the center will continue to provide comprehensive technical support and leadership in the defense of peace for this mighty nation. It is to this end that the Naval Air Development Center was established and has been dedicated.